What's going on, family? Welcome back into the show, man. Uh, I had to make a stop because I was starving, man. I was so hungry, man. I've been running all day. But, you know, talking about uh, my hunger or the food that I'm about to chow down on, but we're talking about one of Invicta's best watches for 2023. We're going to jump into this bad boy right now. Okay, this gem was actually, I purchased this off of um, Amazon, man. I thought it was a great addition. I actually have a ring also to go with this. <clears throat> but this was a release for from Invicta in 2023. This is part of, the, part of their Masterpiece collection. I believe this is a number limited timepiece. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what motivated me to get this. Now, it's a 52 millimeter timepiece, so it's, a, it's quite big, pretty large piece. And anybody that knows Invicta knows that this is what they do, right? That's their area. Now, there are elements of other watches here, man. You see the sleek design. That is beautiful. I'm going to just say it. You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. I love the high polish that Invicta did on this one. Uh, but what they did with this was they gave us diver's extension, right? On the fly. Thank you, sir. Um, they gave us a decorated rotor with the masterpiece back there um and if you see that you know what i'm saying let me see is that is that say limited so you have a sapphire crystal and that's something that you know this that was one of the things that you know across the internet was the flame fusion crystal that invicta used well they use sapphire crystal and this a lot of it magnification so you see the date and everything and we'll get into the tiger's eye we'll get into the diamonds at the top matter of fact precious gemstones right diamonds and it's i think that was a nice touch but this right here this portion this like aluminum insert reminds me of the um brett lang uh not brett lang it reminds me of the um omega seamaster 300 they had a version that just had it was just stainless steel around it that's what remind me of but this was very unique so look at this you see the crown which is massive and you have to have a massive crown for such a big watch but look, watch this. So screw down crown. So once you unscrew it, it pops open. You see that here? Let's get a closer look. So that's letting you know that your watch is is open and it's not ready to dive. <laughs> but here is the most interesting thing. You take your nails and you pull it to that last position. Well, hold on, I'll pull it all, all the way out to the last position because it does have hacking. You see that? Stop, right? But you have to pull that crown all the way out. See, this is the last position. That right there, now you're ready to wind the watch. And this one has a, the Etta 2824. Now, this is the crazy thing is Invicta just like last year received their last uh, shipment of Etta movements. And you know, if you're not a part of that, that group to receive that, then you're not going to get it. But what... I said that this was the best watch, one of the best watches. Now, they have a Malachite dial in this one as well. Then they have the quartz version. There's other watch companies that's doing it right now, and they're taking pre-orders on other watches, but Invicta actually came through with a watch that just blew my socks off. Now, let me tell you something about Tiger's Eye. Do you, get, you guys know that they use this in Rome, the Tiger's Eye. They gave it to the soldiers, man, because... It helps with fear. It helps, you know what I'm saying, calm soldiers, man. There are actually mental properties, you know what I'm saying? And I, listen, I'm a soldier myself, or a veteran rather. And I go through those things where, you know, like mental is instability. Things happen. Life beats you down. And you can actually use this stone. You know, it has calming properties. It has pro properties of like instilling courage. You know what I'm saying? Dispelling fear. This is used in so much, man. Uh, there is actually offices that I've been in that has Tiger's Eye. And it does have, like, this common property to it. And for Invicta to put that in the watch and call it a masterpiece, if you look at that second hand, the second hand, look at that. You have the masterpiece on there. That M standing for masterpiece. And then they just went in and put some diamonds in it. Just to showcase, one, Invicta's always showcasing that. You may consider them to be a homage company, and you can take that, but they're going to do it to such a level. And the bracelet for it to be, you know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't taper. It's just all one level. Uh, it's pretty nice watch. 52 millimeter, yes. 
Is it big? Yes. But, you know, if you're into Invicta, you like bigger watches, man. And this is, I'm, I'm considering this, this is my opinion. This is the best watch that Invicta made last year. And they made a lot of watches. They had over 50, well, 53, 5,400 models, different models last year. Uh, a lot more than I, when I first started collecting Invicta. They had, you know, they would probably make about 2,500 models per year. But this, of all the models they had, that they had to offer last year, boom, absolutely the best. Now, the loom, I don't have a loom shot on this. It's not as strong uh, as it could be. That's the one thing, you know, if Victor would just, like, increase the loom, especially on something like this because it's a masterpiece. But, 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 here's the deal. Overall, I do not regret the purchase. I like the buy. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. No, you're fine. You can set it right there. You can set it right there. Cool. See that? Food is here. So anyway, um, this watch isn't available, but you do have other ones. Uh, you may see may see a customer or a collector sell one of these online. I would not sell mine because I like it. I like it, and it is a collector's item. Um, I believe the last price I saw on this was on Invicta stores, and I want to say it was around five hundred bucks. But for twenty eight twenty four movement right Oof. and this decorated yeah man that thing is that was a, a great buy uh i don't know if invicta would ever come out with one uh if i was to just throw out my recommendation i would say you know the 1953 should get a masterpiece upgrade with with something like this yeah and what i'm saying is a 40 millimeter pro pro diver with this material in it, I think it'll be nice. And, and seeing that they don't, if they have any more 2824s, I would say put it in there. If not, Salida 200 will be just fine. Or NH35, it's no big deal. Or they could go Miyota and make it a little thinner, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Well, you know what? I'm a collector. So, yes, I am choosing. I'm never satisfied. But overall, I will say this is probably, ain't gonna say probably, this is one of the best watches that Invicta put out for 2023 uh I'm a down a hill on that one <laughs> all right man so I left a description to some other watches down there uh some other numbers and stuff that your recommendations so to speak thank you for watching thank you for giving me your time and until the next lightning strike y'all be blessed